Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending November 18th, 2017. And just to let everybody know, next week is Thanksgiving long weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. My family celebrates it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Some are retail workers, so they might not even stop by Friday, but we'll see them Saturday or Sunday. So I'll take a break and then resume the TDD report the following weekend. So first up, this is from sciencenews.org. The Arecibo Observatory will remain open. National Science Foundation says they did put together the money. A lot of people are thinking after uh, Puerto Rico got hit with the hurricane and um, some damage to it and everything like that, that they might end up shutting it down. And that was quite a concern, too, because that telescope is pretty useful uh, for a lot of things. In, in fact, it even helps track uh, some near-Earth objects for us. But uh, it says the iconic Arecibo Observatory has survived the hurricane and dodged deep budget cuts on November 16th. The National Science Foundation, which funds the bulk of the observatory's operating costs, announced that they would continue funding the radio telescope at a reduced level. They also said they're going to try to look at uh, look for sources of revenue to uh, bring the budget up to uh, around, I guess they, they would like about um, $12 million for an annual budget, and the National Science Foundation promised $8.3 million, and then they're going to try to get other sources to get the rest of the funding done. Uh, especially with the need of repairing it and stuff like that, too. I would imagine this will probably be a year to where they might even need a little bit more than $12 million or else they'll have to cut back on some things. But good to see that it's still uh, staying uh, functional because, uh, you know, we need as many, of, as many things as we can, to, to my way of thinking, that can observe anything that might possibly crash into us, especially if it could give us warning way ahead of time, is always to our advantage. Next up, this is from Engadget. Walmart will test Tesla semi-trucks for transporting merchandise. And this is really cool. This was a little bit ahead of the game. I did not think that they would have semi-trucks ready this soon, but they're talking about starting uh, building them on the assembly lines by 2019. The Tesla semi already has one very large guinea pig for the electric fleet, Walmart. The retail juggernaut has some 6,000 trucks and moves merchandise all over the country. And as of last May, it was the world's largest retailer. The company eyeing EVs, electrical vehicles for logistics, sends a pretty clear message about the viability of the tech's commercial applications. And Walmart isn't the only company interested in Tesla's truck. According to Bloomberg, trust, trucking logistics company J.B. Hunt and grocery chain Meyer have also reserved multiple semis. Now, they said there's also a chance that Mercedes and Cummins may come out with electric semis. Uh, even though they don't have quite the range of 500 miles, they may come out sooner than uh, uh, Tesla is with this. So it may be very possible that um, Mercedes or Cummins, either one or both, beat them to the punch. But uh, so far, Walmart has co said they've committed to the, the Tesla. So Next up, this is one thing I, I do every time it gets between... Thanksgiving holiday and Christmas holiday, I like to come up with my list of suggestions for ideas for uh, Christmas gadgets, Christmas technology that you can possibly buy people. And these are a list of five different gadgets from uh, CNBC. And first up here is, and as usual, links to everything I talk about will be found down in the description below. So just check down in the description box below. But first up for $50, and I found them even cheaper than that too if you look around for special sales or discounts or, uh, or various things like that, but $50 normal retail Amazon Echo Dot. Amazon, Amazon's Echo products still amaze me and anyone can get started in the ecosystem with an Echo Dot. I've thought about possibly buying an Echo Dot myself, uh, but I don't know really. It's, it's probably a little bit more of a luxury to spend $50 at this point, but it is kind of cool, you know, when you're busy doing something just to say, you know, um, uh, what's the, you know, asking it for the weather or ask it to play a tune or something like that. So I'm not saying I might, you know, I, I am going to get one definitely, but it's a thought. And then we have, now I don't have this exact one, but we have the Anchor PowerCore 10,000, basically a portable battery pack so that you can charge your phone. I've got um, two of them myself, not quite as big as this uh, 10,000 unit here. Mine uh, probably are in the range of like three to five. But they can still, a normal phone like mine, they can charge it at least twice and maybe another half time besides now. This is a little bit bigger, so it would probably power something like your uh, uh, Apple iPad or uh, one of your larger Android tablets or something like that, maybe even more than one time. But the price on it is $25.99, so this Anchor Power Cord is pretty cool. Bluetooth headphones. Now, these particular ones that they listed here are made by Vava Move. 
They're called Vava Move 28s for $33.99, but I'd say there's a lot of choices. I have a set of Bluetooth headphones. They're not this type where they look more like earbuds than head headphones. They're, mine are actually over the ear type of headphones, but really nice and handy, and you can use them with your phone. You can plug a little USB dongle into your computer and use them as wireless headphones, walk around the house. Just be aware that they advertise some of these distances that they reach, like 60 feet, 100 feet. Realistically, it's more like about half that distance if you want decent sound. You might, under best conditions, be able to reach that far, but it's not going to be good quality sounds. And next up for $40, the Fire Stick, the Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, for those people that uh, want TV, and especially if you have Amazon Prime already, you get the content from that. And then if you want to subscribe to Hulu and Netflix, I'm not sure what the free-to-air stations that are available, but some people say they have quite a few available too, even if you don't want to subscribe to anything or you're not part of Amazon Prime. But for somebody that's into TV and has cut the cable and you think might enjoy that, that's pretty good for 40 bucks. And then you got this thing, it's called a Spigen or Spigen ring grip and car mount. It's for the back of your phone. I've seen those little mushroom deals that you put on the back of the phone where people can get a good grip on it. I've seen people using that. And I thought that's a pretty good idea, but this little ring might be just as good or better of an idea because it folds back against the phone so you don't have this uh, mushroom kind of thing sticking out of your phone all the time. Although I think some of those mushroom things, I think they collapse down, so they may be just a small tube. But here's another way to hold your phone secure, securely, especially if you're somebody that tends to uh, drop your phones easily. And this is a price of $14. And then last up, and I bought one of these, not this exact model, but this is an Anchor Soundcore Bluetooth speaker. I bought the Amazon Basics model because it had a good rating. I think they rated it four or four and a half out of five stars. And I think the beginning price was somewhere around $24.99, and I got mine for about half price because it was supposedly a, a one that was damaged and had some damage on the front of the speaker grill. No damage whatsoever for us. So look for refurb, and, and uh, especially stuff that's damaged packaged. I bought a lot of stuff with damaged packaging to where the thing inside was fine, but the outside of the package was damaged. And if you're Amazon Prime like I am, you're not satisfied and it's damaged and you don't like it, you can still return it even on those. They will take the return. So, yeah, try out the Anchor Soundcore Bluetooth Speaker, $39.99. And like everything else, too, I bet you if you search around enough and look for sales, you can probably get it even a little bit cheaper. So that's one of my lists. I'll try to see if I can find another list of cool gadgets and things for Christmas to buy your friends, um, especially stuff below 50 bucks. It's getting harder and harder to find nice stuff below 50 bucks to get for people. And I have one last bonus one. I'm not going to really play it or talk about it very much, but Joseph L. sent this in just before I did my recording. Uh, he's a regular contributor to TDD Report. Thank you, Joseph L. This is a video from YouTube, and I'll just put the link down below. A zombie star that just won't die. Um, nice little short video, not very long, but something good for you science geeks, and it's something uh, recent that scientists have discovered in astronomy. So, Anyway, take care, everybody, and I will catch you. Have a good Thanksgiving, and I will catch you in two weeks.